Hi everyone, it's March 7, 2011. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is the Schmuck Look. I'm an idiot. I'm a fool. I'm ignorant. Oh my goodness, I got called lots of names yesterday. I've been savaged unto boredom by a few foolish Ron Paul addict addicted stupid people you know according to Ron Paul the best income tax percentage would be zero percent how do you run a nation on zero percent income tax I want to know this is so cute and you know according to Ron Paul at all why the income tax was you know it's something new it just started you know less than a century ago 2013 no not exactly boys and girls see here's where a little bit of knowledge is a really goddamn dangerous thing the income tax originally was instituted back you know about 1863 I think it was in order to pay for the escalating costs of the Civil War and it was a tax only on businesses you know only businesses had to pay income tax because they make so much more money than you or I do yes we work for them and yes this was in the age before assembly lines and all that good stuff but hey we'll get to that so about 1913 you know after the Spanish-American War and you know the the lead up there to the First World War the businesses said hey you know this is really unfair if, why we got to pay some of this the guys who are working for us ought to pay some too because you know they're working for us and we got to pay something extra they don't that would be highly unfair that these individuals get away without paying taxes too and in a perverted sort of way that kind of sort of maybe perhaps makes a little bit of sense somewhere I'm not exactly sure where but okay I pay mine every year yippee yippee yahoo yahoo it does give me the right to bitch so I will I'm taking y'all to task this whole thing started because you know, Ron Paul said, and I quote, education is not a right. Oh, no, I disagree adamantly. It is a right. It's a responsibility of society at large to pay for a standardized education so that the kid growing up in Florida can go to Alaska, speak the language, do the math. Get it? Got it? Good. It's so the kid growing up in Maine can go to California, read the books there, do the math, know that red means stop, green means go. Red is red, green is green, all over the friggin' place. But kids aren't going to get taught that. And particularly this noise about, it's the parent's responsibility to pay for the education of the child. Look, you simple shit. Y'all had 12 years of public education to begin with. Now you get to pay, pay it forward for what you yourselves already had. Gee golly, maybe that's it. You're too friggin' greedy for your own goddamn good. Well, you know, there's loads of islands and we got plenty of garbage. We can make loads of islands more. And we'll put you on ships and put you out there. You can be your own little kings and queens and your own little autocracies. And whatever you say goes. Because I'm going to tell you right now, folks. I've said this before. I'll say it again. But what this really is, is you got a whole shitload of folks out there who mommy told them they were special so often, they believe it to this day. Now that they're adults, they still believe they're special. They shouldn't ever have to pay for what they themselves enjoy. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. 
defunding public libraries? Oh, such a bad thing. Why, if people can't afford to buy a book for themselves, they shouldn't be allowed to read it. You know, they might get ideas about being free and equal. If you equalize the playing field, yeah, I know it's an egalitarian point of view, and, oh my, there's a big word, what, five, six syllables, <laughs> and I mispronounced it on purpose, boys and girls. Let's not get on me about that, okay? But, you know, equalize the playing field. How do you do that? Everybody gets to pay a little something. I rent, but part of that goes to the property tax my landlord pays for the school system. So I'm franchised in it, too. It is that simple. And I don't have any kids. Never had any little rugrats. Did not contribute to the pollution of the world in that manner. So, you know, I got told that, that it's not my fault. I shouldn't have to pay for your kids. Well, I don't have any. But I believe in the public supporting the schools. This is society. We live with each other, not just on each other. I'm telling you flat out, folks, that's what this whole damn thing is all about. I don't want to pay taxes. You should pay taxes. Why? Well, you make less than I do. And, you know, if only the rich people can afford kids, well, you know, there's no reason in the, there's nothing in the Constitution that says you have to pay for a sheriff or a cop squad or any of that. That's not in there word for word. Therefore, taking my taxes to support a police department, well, that's wrong. you you got to have your own. And then the fire departments, public fire departments, is, you know, taking taxes out for that is wrong. you got to support your own. We tried that. Check your history. That, folks, is the one damn thing the Tea Partiers, the Tea Baggers, the New Republicans, the Libertarians damn sure don't want you to do. Check your history. All of this stuff has been tried before. It failed then. It will fail now. But they've been doing this slowly, surreptitiously, another one of them big words, boys, for years and years. Now they're trying to convince you it's in your best interest to be stupid. I'm thinking that's a damn lie and a damn shame that anybody is trying to pull it over. It's time we take our country back. I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's the Schmuck look. Peace out there.